Hey guys, in this video we're going to be talking about nailing on your garage door perimeter board. So this is the board that goes flush to the garage door on the inside. The drywall will come up here and the garage door guys are going to install their rail right on this board and their spring up top. So let's get to it. So like I said, this board goes on flush with the garage door and the garage door rail mounts directly to it. This board will be exposed when the house is all finished with drywall, tape, and texture. It's important to make sure these boards look somewhat nice because it's part of the finished house. On some projects, these will get painted so they'll match the color of the walls, but it's still gonna be the exposed wood. So for this board, we commonly use two by sixes to wrap this. On this specific house, we're gonna use one by sixes but it's the same concept, so you guys should be able to do two buys or one buys, whatever you're doing. Like I said, this wraps the perimeter here, but we're also gonna have each of these sideboards run up two feet past this rough opening. So it's gonna stick up to there, and then we'll stop it. Sometimes we're, we run these boards all the way to the ceiling, and we leave it 5 8 below for drywall, but in this case, the general requested that we leave it two feet above. So ask your general or your lead framer what you're doing on your project. So for these first side boards here, we're gonna have to notch it around this concrete step. Then we're gonna leave it a quarter inch above the concrete here and here. So we want a quarter inch gap so that water doesn't ever soak up into this board. Here we are, we're notched around the concrete here with a quarter inch gap. And when we nail this off, we wanna flush this. We wanna be flush or slightly inset. We don't wanna be kicked into the garage door because it's gonna roll the, the jam trim that goes on here. So flush or slightly inset with the jacks. And when you nail these, just make it real nice. Put them in pairs, evenly spaced if you can because this might get paint on it, but it will be exposed for the rest of the house. Been here before. So we got our sideboards cut. We had to notch it around this strap here and they run two feet past the bottom of the header. Now we're gonna go ahead and put on this top board here running inside to inside our two sideboards. Now we don't have a piece long enough here so I'm gonna cut it right in the middle. So normally I like to do this in one piece, just a one 16 foot two by six. But since we're using one bys and we don't have them long, we're splicing it in the middle. Same thing here, we want it flush with this opening. Slightly inset is better than sticking out into the opening. So I just tacked a nail up over there to hold my board. You can tack a board up here as well if you're doing it by yourself. Okay, so the last board to install here is the one that goes right up the center. This helps them install their garage door puller and the spring. So we want to make sure it's centered between the two and then we'll level it off and nail it. So I added a block here and this makes it easier for them to drywall around this and it makes this stronger for the garage door guys to screw to. So we only ran these boards two feet up, but if you are running them all the way to the ceiling, instead of butting them into this backer here, leave them down five eighths of an inch and try and make that pretty exact because then the drywallers will just slide their drywall right in there. Okay, so that's how you install the perimeter around the garage door. This is way stronger than if they just put their garage door rails right on the drywall. It's gonna last a lot longer, look a lot better. 
Um, we went ahead and added in sheetrock backing around our two sideboards there. That just makes it easier to drywall around those. One last thing I'll mention is that if we're doing this out of two buys instead of one buys, we'll usually try and put a two by eight or a two by 10 on that middle board. Just is a little bit beefier, uh, gives them more meat to screw to. If you guys got any value out of this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel because we're doing an in-depth video on every skill it takes to frame a house.